Hey guys, Lon from the Ecom Zone, and I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to upload products from DS's into Shopify using ChatGPT to write your product descriptions. So, firstly, we're going to need ChatGPT to come up with names for our products, and I am not going to think of those names by myself, so that's why I like to use AI. So, paste that image in, and you come up with unique product names for these products. Type that in. As you can see, I already have one pushed to our store here. So I'm just gonna click edit on this one. And we're gonna change the title, collection, and type. So we don't really have these yet, but put that in there. Vendor as well should be jewelry. And the collection should be ring, but I don't think it comes up. So we'll leave that. So we've got the Afro flame ring. We've got the Stella bloom ring. So let's do the Stella Bloom Ring. Variants. What variants do we have? We got gold, silver, gold, and we got all the China and US. Okay, we're just gonna delete ships from US for now. Because we don't need that. Delete variants. That's fine. Images. Uh, let me just tick these just in case it doesn't have it. It probably does, but I'm not too sure. Okay, cool, that's done. And then we're just gonna import this. So save, push to store, push to store. Then I'm gonna click back out, edit the next one. So what did ChatGPT give us? The Gildora cuff, okay. Cool, um, jewelry, vendor jewelry. Images, let's see. Okay, there's actually a bunch here. So I'm gonna click over to AliExpress and see which one's their top seller. So there's no fire icon by these images, so they don't know if it's a top seller or not. Let's just do that one for now. We don't want 56 variants per product on Shopify, so we're gonna cut it down to the maximum of three products. So this one, we're just gonna keep it to one only because the other jewelry products do not have pictures. So, which one is it? It's this one here. So B1261G. Oh, you know what, let me just delete those. I'm just gonna take that, untick these two, and then delete variants. Then I'm also gonna delete the US variant as well, delete variants and it ships from China. The reason why is because China ships worldwide, whereas US only ships to the US. That's why I'm just gonna include the China one. Now, if you do have a US customer who purchased from you, you can remap it later, and then we'll import this one. Push to store. Once that's loaded, nice, click back out. What's this one? Um, Red Delhi Pendant. Images, okay, there's quite a few again. So, this is quite annoying. Um, let me just untick these ones because there's quite a few product images at the bottom. Oh my god, so many variants. We only just want these ones, okay. Wow, a lot of product photos. Not too sure if they're replicas though. It could be up here. And then we need to delete these variants. So the ones we want to keep are the top ones. It's not that one. Are we going to keep that purple one? Not too sure. Let me just leave it on for now. I just realized this is the one that crafted cells, sort of. Okay, so we could delete these, delete variants. Uh, what is the difference? Let me just click into this. We need to understand why there's so many differences. Ah, uh, okay, and this is a different shape. 
I see. So if you go back to images, these are round, but then you also have the unique shape one, which they don't have photos of, except for these white background ones. Okay, that's not good. We're gonna need some photos for that. Delete variant. So easy way to find photos for this, just copy image, go up here, paste it in and then search. And then here you go, we've got the photos here as well. As you can see here. So when you find the photos like this, you then download it with a downloader app. So where is my image download app? I believe something like this will work. Refresh this. Uh, we do need to show the description again over here so that the app can pick up the photos. And then uh, we kind of want to set a minimum width. So something like that. Cool, so just those ones and then hit the download. Cool, so that's downloaded and we're gonna hit save for this one. And then push that to store. So we're just gonna upload free products for now. And then we're gonna go to our store. So my products, go over here. We wanna click open in store. And then we're also going to open this one. So this ring here, I've already completed the product description. So what I'm going to do is copy this, pull it in here. And then I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me a description for the other one. Can you write me a description for the Stella Bloom ring that comes in gold and silver and four ring sizes? So that's going to write our description. I'm going to delete this, change this to color gold silver. I'm going to also change this to this image here, which looks way better. Um, we unfortunately don't have one for silver. So, again, what you can do is open this product link. And then we're going to copy this, paste it up here, and find ourselves a picture of the silver one. Mm, there's a silver one there, but it's not that great. Oh, wait, I think I found it. Uh, maybe it's not silver. Oh, that's annoying. What about this one? This one? Yeah, it seems like these guys ordered it themselves to take the pictures. Yeah, there's no pictures of the silver one. Okay, we'll just leave it as that for now. We'll sort that out later. This one, we're going to call it ring and rings. Then gold, silver, uh, jewelry. And also, I do like to put the date. So it's year and then month. 2025 August, I put that in, and this is to help us organize the new collection um, so it'll pick up this tag. Now, let's go back to ChatGPT. Just copy this, paste that in there. To be honest, this is quite long, um, so you may need to cut it up. There is one way you can just add images in between text, and that'll break up the text. Alternatively, you can shorten this text. So uh, something like this will do. Okay. So that's another product done. Save product. And then publish, include, click done and save. That's that. And then also we need to change the pricing as well. Columns, compare our price. I'm going to put this, so to change the prices of all the prices at once, you click the top one, click the shift button, then left click the bottom one, and then change this to whatever you want it to be. 
So 29.99, this can be 40, something like that. Cool, save, go back. So that's the uh, price is done. And so this product is uploaded now, and then you can just keep doing that. So the next one is this one, the Gildora Cuff. Okay, mm, now for the, cool. Whilst that's right in, jewelry, gold. I don't think there's a silver for this one, so no. And because there's only one variant, I'm just gonna delete this as well so that there's no variant options. You see how there's a variance here? If you delete all the variants, you can see there's no variant option, it's just add to cart, and this helps push your add to cart button up the page. So let's add back in all our tags. This is gonna be a bracelet. Um, I believe it's adjustable, yep. that in there, enter, insert an image, ideally you do want people wearing your products so that they can actually see someone wearing your products, otherwise it looks very bland, it's not credible, it doesn't look trustworthy, when people see the face, they're like, oh my god, I could trust this brand, and then also when you change this price here, so 49.99, 70, you know what, 54.99, so that one is also done. Oh, I include, save. So that's another product in, and then I need to refresh this for the last product. Open in store. Now, right one for comes in two styles, three colors. Is it two stars, three colors? Yes, it does. And the length is 45 centimeters. Delete this, delete this, and this one, I'm gonna have to change these colors. So it'll be pearl. So that took me about, what, 15 minutes to do three products. Um, at the beginning, it'll probably take you slightly longer. It depends how fast you are uh, with PCs, to be honest. But yeah, that took me about 15 minutes. So let's actually see our products on our store. I'm not too sure why this is preview only. It should be live. Hmm, okay. Maybe it's because my store isn't live. That's why it's preview. Okay, but this is our store here. Ah, so as you can see here, there's four bullet points that we've imported from ChatGPT or five, and it's kind of glitch. So what we're gonna do is go back to this product, which is this one here. Go down here, wanna highlight these five, click the bulleted list, click it again, click save, and then I want to preview again. Hide bar, go back down. Okay, now they're styled correctly. So that's that. Of course, we've got a lot of like things to change here, but this is looking good. So that there, guys, is how I import products from DS's over to Shopify. So hopefully that makes it easier for you guys and so you understand the workflow of how to write descriptions how to edit images and how to find images for your products, etc. And yeah, and just getting used to the overall platform. So if you found this video valuable, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more content and peace.